Welcome to my channel. This is Burgosaurus Lex. Episode 7. Let's do this, baby. Inside today's video, we're checking out a shop called Yummy 8. It's located in Bowood. Cool little spot down there. They're selling Korean egg drop sandwiches. But the key ingredients here are the fluffy scrambled eggs. Um, and a very iconic sauce, creamy sauce that goes with it. I've got two versions of the sandwich to try today. One is bacon, and the other is uh, snitchel. Let's get into it, man. I'm on one. So, let's get into this. Um, this is going to sound really uh, backwards, I guess, in a way. But I already recorded the review, but I put my mic on mute while I was doing the food overview shots. And um, so now I've got a video, but with no audio, which is great. Right? It's just so good. Um, so let's start over guys let's let's start over so the two sandwiches i've got in front of me as you can tell have already taken some damage a couple of blows if you will a couple of left rights um this is the chicken snitchel version that i mentioned earlier from uh, eight yummy and the presentation is beautiful it smells great it tastes great as well, by the way, because I just ate it, so I know that it's good. Um, the fluffy eggs in here are delicious. Um, you know, all squeezed in between uh, brioche bread, uh, which is just that buttery, uh, flavored, full style um, of bread. And then you've got the special sauce and the chicken schnitzel in there too, pieces of it. A little bit of spice in this too. So if you like a little bit of a spice, not too much by the way, it's just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm sure you could ask them to tone it down if you're not really a big fan of spice. Um, but I loved it. It was good. It was so good. Lots of flavor um, and just a really well-made sandwich for sure. So I'm not going to eat it again because i already ate it in the other videos i mentioned in the beginning my bad it is what it is you think seven episodes and i'd be a, a, an expert at this stuff but you know i'm only human we're still learning and the next one 
which has also taken a few, uh, yeah, a few chomps, uh, if you will, was the bacon yummy. And this was my favorite. This, this is so good. Very well made. Uh, again, great presentation. The way that they um, serve it, it's just, I love it. Spectacular. Inside this, very simple ingredients. The fluffy egg um, filling, and then you've got the bacon, which has just been cooked very good. Um, and then you've got this creamy sauce they put in there as well. And the creamy sauce, the description that I would give it is something like, um, it's kind of like Eggs Benedict, but not Eggs Benedict. It's like a creamy, herby kind of a, a sauce that's in there um again between the brioche bun it was delicious it, this and i said this in the video that i recorded before this uh thinking that you guys could hear me but obviously you couldn't this is the best bacon and egg sandwich i've ever had so this goes on the hall of fame along with i think happy endings chicken burger um as a 9.5 out of 10 rating this is so good you guys have just blown my mind this morning and um you know as i was saying in the other video which has no audio which you'll never see the light of day there's three simple things that i believe go into you know making good food and the first thing I believe is giving your customers what they want. If they want bacon, give them bacon. If they want eggs, give them eggs, right? Um, however they want it cooked, right? Um, and the second thing is simplifying that. So not trying to go out of your way to make things, you know, I don't know how to describe it exactly, but you know, adding extra ingredients and like fried onions or like garlic or you know, another sauce when you've already put a sauce into it, um, or just extra toppings and things like that. Just keep it simple. I, I really feel like that is a golden ticket to just getting customers to come back right give them what they want and then make it simple don't overcomplicate it because when you start to overcomplicate things that's when people get confused and maybe they're not too sure about what they're getting and if you look at some of the reviews that i've done previously the people or the, or the restaurants that hit very high on the mark are the ones that keep it simple you know they don't try to play into a world that you know perhaps they don't exist in um and take that for whatever you want like is that me starting to get a little bit uh you know deep with it maybe but it's just my opinion and the third thing is love right you gotta make the food with love if you don't love what you're doing and you're just making food because it's your job and hey man like we all need a job but you, you really got to love, I think for me personally, especially making food, I think some other jobs you can get away with, you know, maybe just being there for a paycheck, but when you make food and you're in the kitchen and you're making the stuff, there's got to be an element of, what if I was going to eat that? Or what if that was something I'm making for my mom or my dad, my sister? my brother someone that's close to you 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 would you know try your best right you, well you would you'd do the best that you can unless that's not your personality or part of your character which is kind of weird bro but whatever um yummy eight you guys have done a fantastic job these are your sandwiches and um yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this in the other part of the video, but they do have an Instagram. You should check it out. 8 underscore yummy. 
go and follow them they're they're a brand new shop um they deserve some love and i'd love for you guys to go and try their sandwiches um uh out in burwood because that as i said that bacon and eggs uh yummy or sandwich was just good just so good the eggs the bacon the brioche oh can't say enough um so guys go, go and check them out go and support them they're a local restaurant and um yeah let's uh let's send some people in the store and uh tell them i sent you or don't it's up to you um and that's me baby guys this is internet lex and i'm telling you to stay safe and look after each other until next time peace